Today I take you to a short trip to a store in my town to get a special material to make your own soap dish. I don't know you, but I have never really found a good soap dish that is functional for handmade soap and fun at the same time. So I would like to share a super easy method how you can create your own in just a few minutes. We are at the craft department of a Swiss store because they have exactly what we need. Over here is a special polymer clay called Fimo that comes in many different colors and also special effects like glitter and glow in the dark. If for example someone wants to shower in the dark. I love this material because it is waterproof and it doesn't break or cause damage if it falls. I choose some vibrant colors and we are heading back to the workshop where you will see how fast and super easy this actually is. Oh yes, and as an additional optional step I will grab these adhesive silicone squares and you will see why in just a second. So let's see, I hope this camera can pick up this sparkly texture here. It's very cool, it looks like granite. Before starting, I just put a baking sheet on my mat here to prevent the clay from sticking. I separate a portion of this silver clay I will need a little more here for the size of the dish that I'm making and then I start rolling out a string. For this first example I'm going to use two colors and best is to use contrasting colors for a good separation. I love this hot pink and it would also look really great in combination with black. Of course you could also go for a different more gradient type of look or why not just a monochrome look or just one color. I think a white dish would look absolutely fabulous in a modern bathroom. I roll out both colors and then I twist them just like so. I roll another ball with it and continue until I reach the desired marbled look. If you want more color streaks, you just continue. If you are a crafter, not like myself, you maybe have these designated rollers that can be used to roll out clay or similar material, or this small rolling pin. I don't have it, so I'm just using an adding felt pen to help me roll out and make it as flat as I can. 
You could also use a little plate to exactly cut a circle to make it really round, but I wanted to keep this a little bit more the rustic way. As you might know, for handmade soap it is important to keep the soap dry between uses. Therefore, I will poke some holes to this dish using a straw. You see, very simple. You can use also other things that you have lying around. And here we have this first version. Now we are not fully done yet. We will talk about this in just a bit. Let's try another version in the meantime. We're gonna go now for three contrasting colors. Like this royal blue, black and then the silver. I will again form some strings, twist them in each other and continue this process until I reach the design that I want. The possibilities here are endless, but I think such a dish for a soap is really a great idea. My customers often ask me how to store the soap and where they can find such dishes and so forth. And I will offer this possibility on my website because I think it's great to have your handmade soap dish for your handmade soap. And as you might have noticed, I'm experimenting with projects around the making of soap, some DIY projects going with it, like packaging, for example, how to package a soap. There is another video here on my channel that you can check out if you want. And I will leave the link in the description. I love the design now so I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out let's add some more holes this time And here we have this super fun and easy way to make dishes. Now I'm going to add it to my preheated oven at 110 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. This is how they turn out. I'm going to add the little adhesive silicone square on the bottom to create more space between the dish and the surface for the drainage holes. And that's it, you're done. If you're interested in other soap making related videos, check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.